What's up, Scorpio? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? Come on in. Excuse me. Come on in here. Hop on the couch. Kick your feet up. Relax and enjoy yourselves, boo. Grab your weed, blend cigarettes, drink fruit water. Hell, I don't give a fuck. Just do you. But allow me to say thank you to all my beautiful subscribers for all the love and support that you show me because you don't have two booze and you do. And for that, it truly means the world to me. Thank you so much, my lovely Scorpios. You know I love my Scorpios. All right, Scorpios, we're back with another love reading. I want your person want to say, uh, what your person want to say? Who's coming towards you in love? All right. Let's check it out. For some of you, it's a life partner. Oh, all right. All right. All right. Some of you, that's uh, you're going to grow as friends first, okay? Because that's the bomb-ass relationship. That's the relationship that outstands the test of time. When you grow when you uh, grow if, uh, in friendship first, you know? Normally, shit, nowadays, motherfuckers, shit, we fuck, we together. And all these situationships. And a motherfucker don't know a motherfucker. They didn't even get a chance to get to know a motherfucker. Motherfuckers just hopping they ass into a goddamn relationship with a motherfucker they don't know. So, yeah, somebody that you're going to... Be able to uh, be friends with and courtship for a while. Get to know one another. And it's going to turn into a life partner. That's for some of you, not all of you. Okay. So let's see who's coming towards us. Because you know I'm a Scorpio moon too. No, I love my Scorpio moon. Somebody that's reminiscing about you. Remin about, reminiscing about the good times you guys shared and had. All right. Some of you, this is a soulmate that will be returning back from your, uh, from your past spirit. Someone who learned some lessons, okay? They gained a lot of knowledge and they learned a lot of lessons, okay? Karma bit their ass, bit them on their ass, okay? Person coming towards you is energy. Somebody else won't be able to match your energy. Okay. They're gonna be full of energy. They can do, they can um they could uh ride the skateboard and shit. Know how to ride a skateboard. Yeah, they spirit, we got yeah, guidance and solitude. So this person took a lot of time to self-reflect. Like I said, they learned a lot of lessons, gained a lot of knowledge. This person been spending time within themselves, going within to soul search, okay? Soul reflecting on the situation a lot. And they spirit guides and angels has been guiding them to do so. Okay. But also, this person can also spend a lot of time within themselves, to themselves, okay? On soul searching, Okay, and their spirit guides is guiding them to you. That's another way how I see it to just apply to your life. How it may fit. Yeah, there's gonna be a strong attraction between you and this person. Okay, y'all won't be getting enough for each other. Y'all gonna be all over each other like these people in the picture. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person can live at a distance from you guys. You probably got to catch the plane to go see this person or them to come see you. Okay. Maybe in the past it was some type competition. All right. For some of you, it was some, some type of competition. All right. With this person, they had somebody else. For some of you, maybe they, maybe they feel like they got competition. Maybe you got somebody else. You know, everybody's story is different. Just chew the meat and spit out the bones. Yeah, we got clarity. So this person got some clarity, okay? After they've been spending time within themselves, soul searching and soul reflecting on a situation. Okay. 
Yeah, this person wants to bring you gifts. They want to be generous towards you in the connection, okay? They know you like gifts. They know you like nice things, okay? This person wants to gift you. Person has a very strong attraction for you. Yeah, we got affection. Okay, this person holds a lot of affection for you. You know that that kiss on the forehead is everything. Okay, everybody don't know about that kiss on the forehead, but this person does. Ooh. Yes, you guys are marrying each other. You guys are gonna be able to match each other, match each other's energy. And it's going to be a lot of passion between you guys. You guys going to be all over each other, okay? Okay? That's what's up. And maybe just have, maybe not even be all over each other. Just have a lot of passion for them one another that you want to tear each other clothes off. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person is going to be able to match your frequency. Okay? Going to be on the same frequency as you. That's what I'm talking about, okay? That's what we're looking for. A motherfucker to match our energy. Match our frequency. That match, you know what I'm saying? That matches us. When they when, when I look at you, I see me. And when you see me, you know what I mean. You see yourself. Alright, so this person gonna take some type of action. Alright. Yeah, they setting boundaries now. Or you could have set boundaries with this person after a betrayal. Yeah, you bring excitement to this person's life. They're their happiest when they with you. You guys shared a lot of good times together. A lot of fun times, okay? They old relationships was boring as fuck. Not till you came along, okay, and showed them some type of excitement. All right, they could be getting their finances in order, probably got their finances in order, but this person is in regret, feeling re very regretful for what they did, you know, and they're in their heart space because the heart is lit up, okay? But yeah, they regret having a conflict, going through conflict, bringing drama to you, okay? Yeah, and this caused a breakup between you guys. That's why this person wants a commitment wants to come back and so researching and so reflecting and realize what the fuck they did and realize you the one okay and they want a commitment with you okay they've been self-loving on themselves they've been healing themselves okay healing their past hood trauma and shit and baggage now they want a home with you okay they're trying to build a home with you a white house with a picket fence that's what i'm talking about okay because they learned a lot of lessons gained a lot of knowledge like i said right after this deception that took place Probably due to a pregnancy, okay? You could be pregnant, somebody else could be pregnant. But now they're looking for an apology. They want to apologize to you for hurting you. Hurting that motherfucking Scorpio, okay? Let's see who you're dealing with. They know to come back correct or don't bring their ass back at all. Whoever come out, whoever you're thinking about, that's who you're dealing with. They don't necessarily have to come out in these cards. All right. Bottom of the deck, we got the sun, Neptune, Pisces, uh, Mercury, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, 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 Venus, Taurus, Libra, Virgo. Sagittarius, Sagittarius coming up in everybody reading as the one, not the not the old one, but the one. I noticed that in a lot of readings and other people's readings too. Sagittarius is coming to show up, to show out in a good way, though, in a good way. So let, me get the advice. let me get you an advice card. Too many, too many spirits. Just need one. Just, I just need one. What is the advice? What is the advice? Give me one card, please. 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 What is the advice? Thank you. All right, we got mending. Let me read it for you, and I shall leave it here. Mending. Mending. 
All right. You come to a place where forgiveness is necessary if you're to move forward. Separate or together, you are the other. You and the other person are still experiencing the effects of the hurt that is still impacting everything you do. Even if you're not aware of it, the energy needs to be clear. What must you do to bridge this gap? Closing your heart is not the answer. You have the power to heal this wound. Ask yourself, what would love do? Only good will come of forgiveness and honest redness. And an honest redness. All right, me love. So if this resonated with you guys, go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs up. If not, go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs down. I really don't give a fuck as long as you take heed to that message. All right, me love. So thanks for watching. And until next time, same bad time, same bad channel. All right, deuces.